What is going on guys? Good morning and a good morning it is because as uh, I talked about last week the title of this video I'm sure gives it away but we're returning to Aztec, the home track where I put many, many, many laps and days in. Um, I haven't been there since we moved up to Denver, but today we're gonna go down. I'm really excited. Um, we had some friends, well, I'll just be honest, one subscriber and his friend, they drove in from Missouri and um, kept their bikes at my apartment, Kyle and Chad. So they're here. We're gonna be rolling down to Aztec, two separate vehicles. We're gonna roll down together. Oni's gonna be coming out to Aztec. My mom and dad are gonna be coming out to Aztec. It's going to be a really good day. I hope we get some good footage. Um, I'm going to come right out and say, if you guys are excited for some Aztec footage, please like the video. Or if you just like the video in general, just scroll down and like the video. So we're going to get the day going. We just fed Murphy, so he's nice and content. You nice and content? And Sora is now drinking Murphy's water. Huh, they can share it. But uh, So they got their food. Now, uh, yeah, I'm not going to make breakfast. I'm just going to chill out for a little bit. It is 7.23. The plan is for us to meet up at my apartment at 8.30, so in just over an hour, and then um, load up the bikes and roll on down. So that's how the day is starting. It's going to be awesome. I'm excited. I've shown making sandwiches before and I get people who comment like you use too much peanut butter that's the coolest thing about being an adult making your own food you can use as much as you want or as little as you want and you cater it to how you like it so some people don't like as much peanut butter don't put as much on but I like a lot of peanut butter so I do put a lot on it's really cool when you cook for yourself you can do that so there we go we got Kyle's bike they're on the way to load up we got Chad's bike Man, I'm taking the 450. Obviously, we got the 125. Not going to be taking the 125 today, though. But, um, yeah, so some good-looking bikes. I really like this. Uh, obviously, you guys know I'm the sucker for the white since that's what my bike is. But Kyle's bike looks real good. So, you know, we locked them all together, but um, kept them safe overnight. And, uh, yeah, go ahead and load up now. And if you don't follow me on Snapchat, you should. But I got myself a fresh front tire. And then I ordered a rear. So that will be here next week. And then I'll put it on. I bought this one from a bike dealership to kind of help support the bike dealership. Because, you know, if you don't buy from a local dealer, they're going to go away. So I bought a front tire from them. But then I ordered the uh, rear tire online because it was a lot cheaper. But so did one of each. But <laughs> that's going to do that. So let's go ahead. And um, I'm actually going to wait for them so they can get their bikes. But I'm going to load up my gear bag and stuff now. All right, let's hear it, man. How excited are you? Dude, I'm stoked. I'm so ready. You feel like you have Aztec down pat just from videos? I think so. I know it's always different in person. So, so, so first gonna lap, you're going to send everything, right? Negative. <laughs> negative on that all right guys we are on the road we got kyle chad and their girlfriends uh in the truck behind us we got allison here and then murphy's in the back we got a nice little leash thing to keep him strapped in the back there but um yeah heading down to aztec really excited um kind of be back i guess you can say be back home or whatever but it should be a good time out there i'm excited for these guys to get to go to ride it and i think it's going to be cool for everyone watching because you guys have seen so many videos of me riding at aztec and of course you know that riding at colorado it's high elevation like they always talk about with the um thunder valley national so i think it's going to be really cool to get some uh insight from some you know local level riders um Kyle told me he's like a C rider and that Chad is a B rider. So it'll be cool to listen to them and kind of hear what they have to say about Aztec and the elevation and just how the bikes handle. It's probably really dark in here. We're under a bridge. But um, I think that that's going to be really cool. And um, I don't know. Uh, I think it's just going to be cool. So that is that. We got about an hour and 20 minute drive down to the old Aztec. So on our way now and uh, we'll catch up with you guys soon. Here we are back at Aztec Family Raceway. It feels like it's been so long, um, but it feels like home at the same time. And pulled in right behind my parents, so they just pulled over to the right there. So say hey to them real quickly. Murphy came to say hey to Yo, what's up? <laughs> Two stroke Saturday on a four stroke. That's right, something like that. <laughs> All right, guys, really, though, the real reason I was most excited to come back to Aztec was because this guy. 
What's up, Daniel? Hey, honey, how are you? you gotta be quiet. What's up, man? How's it going? Good. Look at this. Hey, Who's good? this? It's just oh, a reunion yeah. today. MX Nation, where's your bike, bro? Silver. Yeah. Silver. <laughs> hey. Hey, buddy. Hey. Yeah, there's no way. Oh, high five. Hi, Allison. Hi, Where Daniel. Are... Hi, we are at Aztec. I'm here with my favorite son. Oh, that's so sweet of you. Yeah. Your only son, but we'll take, no, it. My we'll take it however we can get it. That's right. <laughs> We're out here at Aztec. Got a good group of people already showing up. It's a little windy out here, but um, shouldn't affect it on the track too much. It looks like the track's pretty deep. Bikes are pretty muddy, uh, struggling to get around, but let it break in some, get changed out, but it should be sick. <laughs> I will. I don't want to interrupt your guys' conversation. But I'm just excited to see you. Nice to it's see you. It's been so long. I feel like I, I haven't been here. I've been, uh, I've been watching your stuff. Oh yeah, I appreciate yeah. that. Thank you so much. Really? But excited to be back down here. Yeah. I was gonna write you down now, for the mini track guys, today. Did you guys move yet? Up yeah, there? we moved up back in June, so that's why I haven't been around because yeah. we're up there constantly. So, but it's nice. Good. It's fun. So. Less drive for you. Less you drive. Absolutely, there it's great. Go. Awesome. We'll have an awesome day. Okay, Take we'll do. Care. Thank you. Good. My dad's going to be manning the iPhone for video today using the three-axis DJI gimbal that uh, Oni's letting us use. So thank you as always, Oni. And it uh, should be a good day for some footage. We got Kyle and Chad. They are ready to go out on the track. They're waiting on me. So let's throw on the helmet and get on out there. All right, guys, back at Aztec. See if we remember how this track goes, huh? Tater Ton.
Sorry, man. Y'all good? Yeah, <laughs> that was pretty funny. That's why you shouldn't follow right there, huh? Yeah, like this triple's gone, the triple over there they're not using. Yeah, it's definitely not very big jumps out here today. Yeah, it's a lot different. Yeah. But feels just like home, you know? It's weird coming back like this. What? You're gonna whip it, all right. I got it. All right, Oni says he's gonna whip it over this. Yeah, he was saying something about it. So get ready. Jared McNeil, best whip, X Games 2018. You better watch out. Uh, Oni's coming for you. He's gotta get a nice long run up because he's gonna go so fast to throw this whip. So he's going into the next zip code. Get a little bit of speed, get that YZ250F. YZF250, whatever it is. I don't know, the not, uh, naming. All right. He's coming in, nice relaxed position. Takes that corner, takes his time, pushes a little outside. He's coming up, sitting down, throwing it fat, whoa! I think we saw his number plate on the other side of the bike. Like, maybe maybe I was just seeing things, but that was nasty. So, Oni, I don't even know what to say, that was amazing. That was crazy! I saw your other number plate. I didn't specify I was going to bar with it on. No, you didn't say that part. Dang it, well, it was very impressive regardless. What was that? Yeah. How was that tater taunt? Was it crispy? Was it a little salty? A little salt on there? I didn't know it was coming. I know was like, I was thinking maybe you were just going to get behind me until the bus was able. Actually, you were behind me when you pulled off. Yeah. I sat there and I was like, why am I going so slow to the train? He's going to tater taunt Speed up! Uh, mind games, man. I'm messing with you. You never know where it's coming from. <laughs> yeah, how are you doing, man? Can you kill the bike? There we go. Blake, you said? Yes, sir. Nice to meet you, man. Yeah. Uh, do you live out near Aztec? Is this? Yeah, I live in oh, I was just wondering why I'd never seen you before. Well, about six months ago, I got uh, I wadded up on the camelback. Okay. Oh, Bratzler's there, yeah. Hell yeah. Woo! <laughs> Cool. You want to record me real quick? All right, guys, this is usually a bad luck charm, but I'm going to see if I can get close to dragon bars in this corner. In the past few videos, I've had some squid squad moments, and I just want to throw this out there. I'm not saying I'm a great rider. We all know that, but when I'm trying to hit a, a corner for the camera, obviously I'm hitting it harder than I would normally riding. I don't usually have stupid falls like that but I'm trying to hit the corner as good as possible, that's when you fall. So we might be seeing a squid squat or we might see a bar drag. It's one or the other. Or I'll just go through it like a goon. That's a possibility too. Unfortunately, the corner doesn't really seem to be low enough. I don't think I can actually catch my bars, but it feels pretty good out there. All right, guys, we just pulled off the track. First impressions. First impressions. Uh, definitely more sandy than I'm used to. Okay. Um, it's a lot more hard packed where we're from, so that's a little bit of a change. Um, but other than that, the track is a blast. Uh, the corners are good. A couple of corners have really good ruts. Uh, the jumps are really safe for the most part, so uh, yeah. Loving it. Hell yeah. Um, elevation, can you feel it at all? 
I don't know. Okay. I'll, we'll tell you later. Okay. I, I didn't push too hard on the first one, just trying to get everything down. Fair enough. But we'll find we'll find out for sure. How about you, Chad? How I rode for five minutes and crashed and broke my brake lever. <laughs> oh well, that's a good start. Oh, sure. So, sure enough. So. But besides that, it was pretty awesome out there. Well, I liked I'm sorry it. you went down, man. Hopefully yeah. we can get that figured out. But uh, we'll I'm it. glad you guys are out here. Yeah. Oh yeah, for sure. All right, you're back. Nope. What's up? What are, what are you here? <laughs> What's up, man? MX Nation, Luke Phillips. What's up? Did you happen to see me tater taunt Oni? I did. <laughs> what did you think about that? I thought it was pretty awesome. Was it the best thing you've ever experienced in your life? The best thing I've ever experienced. That's what I like to hear. For you, sure. I told him that the taunt was a little salty, and I think he agreed there was a little bit of salt on that taunt. Yeah. But um, he, it looks like he'll be okay. He'll survive. Yeah, I think so. Any, any words? <laughs> see some water to get rid of this salt. <laughs> That didn't really work, did it? Not really. <laughs> it's a thought that counts. Unfortunately, this part of the video was really cool, but the GoPro audio messed up. We didn't get to hear it. Uh, my dad had just purchased me this Ruger 1911 45 ACP uh, handgun pistol. And the audio was so cool, I knew it was coming, but we thought it was gonna be here Tuesday. Um, it came really fast, so they surprised, it, surprised me with it at the track. Um, what I'm doing in this scene, I was um, dropping the mag, making sure the gun was unloaded. Um, just obviously, safety first, making sure it's all unloaded. Um, so excited, the gun is absolutely beautiful, looks way better than I even imagined. Um, here I'm just explaining the gun, again, that it's a Ruger 1911, that's a 45 ACP. It's a, a commander size, which is a four and a quarter inch barrel, I believe, and um, yeah, absolutely gorgeous gun. The mag holds uh, seven and then one in the chamber if that's how you run it. And um, yeah, I'm really bummed this audio didn't come out. I was explaining uh, the gun, explaining gun safety, how I was looking to make sure nothing was loaded in it and um, it wasn't gonna accidentally shoot anyone, but so happy with this gun. And in Sunday's video, you can actually check me shooting it. So check that out. <laughs> Even better. <laughs> All right guys, you know I've been trying to do some fender slaps for Ben. My Patreon supporter, one of my Patreon supporters, all my Patreon supporters are awesome, but Ben asked me to do fender slaps. I put the Dango Designs mount on my handguard. I don't know if this will work. It might fall off before I even get onto the jump, but we're gonna try and do a fender slap and uh, get it from that view. Then we'll catch on behind Kyle here and take, take off the Dango and then um, do some laps. Big difference for the elevation. You can definitely feeling it now. Yeah. All right. Is there anything else that like surprises you or that you didn't expect? Or after watching all those Aztec videos and being here in real life, is there anything besides what you already said with it being sandier and hard pack? Oni slower than you thought he was. <laughs> no, I'm gonna say Oni looks faster than I thought he was. I thought this is the best I've ridden. So does he. So. so does he. Yes. I didn't pay him to say that yet. But no, like he did. It for sure makes a difference. I mean, I think where we're at is about a thousand. I paid him too. So we're six times or five times. Yeah. Times here. Yeah. So, I mean, in like three laps, I feel like I can't breathe. Like it's almost like you. There's nothing there. Right. But other than that, it's a blast. I'm having a blast. Awesome, man. That's what I like to hear. Right. Very close to a factory. Suspension setup. Yeah. So. Just chilling out here. It's pretty warm, but uh, enjoying it. They're going back out to water the track right now, so let it uh, soak in a little bit and then go run some more laps. But, uh, good stuff. <laughs>
so cool. You are one of the corners Daniel wanted me to set up for. That's a pretty decently gnarly ruts going on here. I'm watching for traffic as I'm doing this. <laughs> Don't want to be out here doing this when they come by, but you know, they're pretty decently, pretty decently deep ruts. I mean, for Colorado and such. Pretty cool. <laughs> Came in pretty hot. <laughs> All right, so we just finished up riding some, just doing some whips and stuff over the Camelback. They reshaped the lip of it here at Aztec and uh, made it a lot more fun. So we were throwing some lip, some some whips and stuff. I thought I missed Oni, but it turns out I don't miss him. <laughs> um, <laughs> so lots of fun, but I think we're gonna call it here. We're, we've been here longer than we usually are, and the track's we're starting forever. to- Forever. 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 The track's starting to get a little hagged out now, but um, it yeah, it's, it's been sweet. It's been fun being back down here at Aztec. Doing some drone footage? We're doing some drone footage. How is it? It is awesome. Awesome. Drone footage is where it's at, so really. Sweet. So we already heard from you about the track. Chad, tell us about the track. It's pretty awesome. 
whenever you don't crash anyway. Whenever you don't crash. So yeah. you crashed, what, you said five minutes in, broke your front brake, yep. had to run to the bike shop and get a front brake. I got about three laps in and I was just... <laughs> and, uh, and besides that, it's a pretty good track. It's pretty rough getting there anyway. So we're not used to that back home, really. Yeah. Well, I'm glad you guys are out here. All right, guys, so we rolled out of ASEC, obviously, since we're here now, but um, yeah, we, uh, we have Kyle, uh, Chad, and their girlfriends right behind us, um, and we're going to go drive through Garden of the Gods, which is actually where Allison and I got married, so if you saw the video of our wedding, then it's that area, but since they're down here, we figured we'd go check it out. It's not too far out of the way. Actually, it's not, not hardly out of the way at all, so going to go do that, and then um, drive back up to Denver, wash the bikes up, put them away in the garage, and then um, we're all going to go to Top Golf. So uh, that should be a lot of fun, so go do that. Never done that before. What about you, Allison? Yep. Nope. So, going to do that. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and cut off the video here, um, just because I don't want to edit more video. I just want it to be writing stuff, so <laughs> that's really it. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you hit that like button. Um, leave a comment about whatever and then um so as i'm recording this it's saturday sunday we're going to thunder valley i don't know when you guys will be seeing these videos because we're going to be busy um saturday night doing top golf and stuff but do what i can to get them out to you guys and um hope you're looking forward to it so i feel like i'm on the verge of sneezing but thank you guys so much for watching until next time as always take it easy if it's easy take it twice i'm like seriously like two inches away from sneezing <laughs> take it twice <laughs> we'll talk to you later